Welcome back again. In this video, we are going to talk about managing uh, or how to manage visibility graphics overrides for model categories. First, let me show you some uh, places that you can actually access that menu. Okay, one place is right over here in the project or in the properties panel. Sorry, properties panel out beside visibility graphics. You click on edit, and then of course all everything that you need comes up. And I'm going to move my drawing over here. Well, I guess I have to close that first. But uh, this, you know, everything, every family or or uh, category or whatever involved in your drawing is going to be in here somewhere. Okay, another place to do it. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to slide. I thought it was my drawing over. Here we go. All right. Um, okay, so another place to get that is on the... What is annotate tab, I believe? No, it isn't. Maybe it is view. Maybe it is modify. Yes. No. I know somewhere on here there's another way to get to visibility graphics. Uh, manage. Object styles. Anyway, well, I guess you can probably find it. Or actually, I'll start this over once. Hello again everyone, we are going to look at in this video for our Revit 2020 certification, we're going to look at manage visibility graphics and overrides for model categories. All right. So what that does basically is as you get to work in your models, your models will start to get pretty crowded with all of your walls, your furniture, um, you know, pipes, electricity, everything involved. It's just going to get really clouded, or clouded, crowded. You could probably say clouded, um, but it's going to get really crowded. So you'll, as you're working, you'll want to be able to, uh, of course, your first instinct is to move things around, move them out of your way. Uh, but it's really unnecessary to do that. Um, you can really mess things up if you do it that way. Uh, the best thing to do is hide some of the items that you don't want to use at that moment, or you don't need to see. All right, so here we are in a uh, view, and I encourage you to go ahead and if you have this drawing that we had started with earlier, or if you just want to, you know, place a square of a structure or something, anything, just a wall um, on your drawing and uh, just populate it with some doors, some windows, and some furniture and things like that, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and pause now and do that, and you can follow along with what I'm going to do. But... What I am going to do is show you the first place that you can actually access your visibility graphics, where you can actually turn off some of these things on the screen. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. All right, the first place is in the, the uh, Properties panel under the uh, Graphics column, uh, Visibility Graphics, and out to the right of that it says Edit. So I click on edit, and as you see, it has all the things that would ever show up in my plan that I can turn off or on simply by, by clicking on check marks. You can see that some are already turned off by default. Another place that you'll find this is, I believe, on the view panel. Yes, if you go to the view tab, okay, and inside the view tab on the left side, the graphics panel, you again can access visibility graphics like that. Um, also in Sheets, you can do it the same way in Sheets. If you're in your sheet and you want to uh, access, oops, let me get outside of it a little bit there. You want to access that within a sheet, then you can double click into the uh, viewport and then it's just like you're working in the level one view and you can turn on your visibility graphics that way. All right, so that, that's how you turn it on. That's how you get there. I'm going to go back to view one, and we'll operate from there. Okay, so turn on the visibility graphics, and let's look at some of the things in this, this dialog. You have uh, model categories, so if you're going to hide something that's a model, say a piece of furniture, a tree, some wire, whatever, it's right there. Um, Annotation categories, and that would be if you want to, let's say we want to hide this section. It's right here in my view, or maybe my, my dimension lines, I want to hide those. 
Okay, uh, analytical model categories. I'm not using any analytical model categories, but if you had some of those in your on your sheet, you could hide those as well. Imported categories, and then of course filters. I've never really messed with filters much, but um, you know that's kind of uh, uh, the the I guess the hierarchy. Mostly, what you're probably going to be using is the model and the annotation categories, which is why they're kind of up front here. All right, so all it takes is to turn off something. Um, I've got some furniture in my view. You can see these desks. Got several of them. I just kind of put them around all over the place there. And um, so I'm going to find furniture. I'm going to click the check mark, and I'm going to click apply. And you see, all my desks have disappeared. Okay, so if I was working on something that the desks were in the way, I could hide those. Okay, to turn them back on, you just simply click the check mark and then click apply. There's also some other things. If you click on the drop down or the uh, uh, or actually where you can expand the hierarchy uh, right here, um, it just says hidden lines. That's about the only other option you have here. So if you had some furniture that had some hidden lines on it, you can hide those hidden lines. Uh, but some of these will uh, expand to, you know, with even more uh, options under them. And those options would would uh, affect whatever is inside of that particular model. Okay, so we did uh, desk. So I might want to also, you see, I have a few windows up front. Let's see, a few windows, a couple on the side. Uh, maybe I want to turn off all my windows. So I'll click on that. No, oh, that's walls. Windows. And click apply. So I turned off all my windows. Of course, for some reason, some little parts of the window still remain. I guess that's more or less just the hole that the window is cutting. Um, turn the windows back on. And even doors. So I want to turn off my doors. Click on that. Apply. And now you see all my doors are turned off. And yes, it did leave the holes behind. Turn those back on. Apply. Okay. All right, so that's how you use visibility graphics. Um, and you would also use that for different drawings. Like uh, once you finish your plan and you start making your sheets, you're going to have different sheets. Even though you have just one plan, you're going to have different sheets that are going to show different things. You might have one sheet that shows only electrical. Uh, you'll have another sheet that shows only furniture or only walls or something like that. So on those sheets, on those particular sheets that you have, um, then, of course, or actually, we'll kind of get around to a little bit more that goes into that later. But on those sheets, you'll want to turn uh, off those specific categories because, you know, the um, electricians have no need for, you know, all of the uh, furniture uh, being in the, in the home. Um, or, you know, maybe the plumbers, they don't need that either. You know, so um, carpenters especially. You know, if you've got, uh, you're definitely going to have carpenters or someone putting together the structure. They don't, they don't need that at all. They just need to see where the walls go. Uh, so those things would be uh, those things that are outside of what that particular trade needs would be turned off. All right. So that's how we would, how we do that. So thank you very much. Have any questions? Let me know.